But these were the words that just came like dictation. I mean, I wrote these just as if it was being poured into my mind. The carnal man possesses the corrupt nature of the evil one. Think about that when you allow that fallen, the fallen tendencies and thoughts in your new self in Christ. It's Satan's continuation of the fall only in the new garden of rebirth. And our only protection is to be fully clothed in the whole armor of God. Behold, says the Lord, I made a way for you out of a doomed world that I shall not allow to continue as it is forever. I stepped into your darkness and said, Let there be light, and there was light. Now you must walk in that light by putting on the whole armor of God. Yes, clothe yourselves in light. Put off the dark robe Satan brought you forth in, for it bears the sting of death and the stench of sin. You cannot follow me in that robe. Behold, as the prodigal son returned, I gave him a new robe, for the old robe out of the pig pen still clung to him when I embraced him in my love and my grace. And the robe I give to you is the new man brought forth in Christ, in his image, wrought with the most fine gold and tapestry of silver woven by my grace. And I have a whole new name written down for you that only you and me shall know. You know not all that I have laid up for you, but there are glimpses in my word. I have buried treasure in my word that you must see and find. I have set doors before you that you must knock for them to open. Ask of me, says the Lord, and you will receive. For I have positioned you to partake of my Holy Spirit, who will show you what your mind cannot know of itself. Yes, things to come that I have prepared for you, secret places where we commune together. I am bringing you forth out of the fallen creation unto myself. So many think that they want to receive my grace and that they can go on living the way that they want to. But the purpose of my saving grace is to rescue you and bring you unto myself, that you may come to know me, the only true God. Yes, I am your heavenly Father. But I say to you this day, never look back. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. You cannot love the world and say you love me too because the fleshly works are set at variance against my Holy Spirit and his work in you. You have been given a new heart and a new spirit. Only turn not away, turn not back, but come to me, to my world of light and love, and I will adorn you in eternal garments. But first you must take the whole armor of God now. And walk worthy of me. Do not say that you are of me and do the works of my adversary or continue on in those filthy rags he thrust upon you. I have called you because of my grace and it is a call to war. You do not have to be overcome by the devil, for I overcame him, and I stand daily to present you with the whole armor of God. Do not go out against the enemy naked and unarmed. Yet so many do this very thing and wonder, Where is the Lord of hosts? Why am I defeated so often? No man by taking thought can clothe himself. Yea, for he must present himself daily to me, the one who provides the armor. Sit at my table and eat the bread of the victor, and drink the wine of the conqueror. 
so shall your sword be sharp and powerful when you declare my word for truly it shall pierce into the very heart of hell and of the work of Satan upon my children dividing asunder their soul and spirit when you declare my word in the anointing of the Holy Spirit the thoughts and even the intents of their hearts will become known to them in my light for I sent my spirit as a two-edged sword to lay bare the human soul and spirit before my eyes for nothing can be hid when you speak my word by the anointing for the spirit shall convict them of their evil heart even to the very depths of their souls for Satan's nature corrupted in my people it can no longer be hidden they shall see light in my light they can come to the light and depart from darkness but you cannot do battle without the armor only a fool would confront an army unarmed but I have indeed armed you with tried weapons of spiritual warfare but you must abide in me to have access to put on the whole armor of God blessed are those who are called to the marriage supper of the Lamb Amen and amen.